guys, I'm Vicky Dimitri, founder and creative director of Rock and Doll Cruelty Free Silk Company. So my business is based from where I live, which is the Beauvoir. And I really actually like working from home. There's something so calming about it. It's just such a really relaxing place. And when I take a break, I can go out to a local coffee shop or go for a walk along the canal. And stuff like that is absolutely priceless. So the name Rock and Doll actually came from one of my best friend's husbands. He used to call, well he still does, me and her Sugar and Spice. So basically Rock and Doll is a play on Sugar and Spice for me and her. So Debbie, who is also on the box, is my friend. She is diehard vegan and she is diehard with her ethics. So when we were going into this, uh, we I knew that I wanted something that had two aspects to it. My tastes are basically a little bit more edgy. I'm really into Queen, um, brands like that. Uh, but I knew as well that a lot of people really enjoy girly products. So I wanted the brand to have two sides of it. So that's why we called it Rock and Doll. I'm the rock and she's my doll inspiration. <laughs> The idea for creating Rock and Doll really came from my background in hairdressing. I am a wig and hair extension expert and over the years I have only decided to deal exclusively with ethical hair. I wanted to be a part of a really good journey, something that was adding back into the community, respecting the planet and animals. Really, I wanted to zone in on something that I was using every day and so were my clients, which was silk. And silk isn't ethical or cruelty free in any way. In fact, 99% of global silk is farmed silk, which is battery silk, where they boil the silkworm to have a more effective production rate. So I went on a journey to see if there was a different material or a better way of doing it, which is what I found. So that's how I really ended up with Rock and Doll just through really a, a real yearning for understanding how to do things in a better way and wanting to bring that to people. When we took Rock and Doll to the next level by using a biodegradable elastic that had more tension to it and our organic dyes and the fair trade, this was a step that we took because we thought it was really important to have an all round product. There was enough silk scrunchies and silk fabrics products out there to keep going forever. But we knew that I really wanted something that was a future-proofed product. So we have two silk finishes. So this is our glossy one, and then we've got our matte finish, which is this. Because I felt that living in a city, sometimes your clothes are a little bit more subdued and the colors are a bit cooler. And I just felt that all the silk products out there were really, really bright and super glossy, which is beautiful. But I wanted to bring that other element to it, that fashion element, city element to it. And then we brought out the little ones, because I was like, you know, I want something that you can have a super snatch ponytail with and uh, not damage your hair at all, because that's the main thing. You know, when you grit your hair back really, really tight, you want to protect your hairline. So we did the really, really, really tiny ones so we can have a tight ponytail. Also, it's really, really practical when you're working out because um, it has more grip to it. And then we did the really, really big ones because they're almost like a turban protecting your hair. So that was the thought process behind them two. We've also got a duo box where you get the small and the large in. So that's like, so you can do a really tight ponytail and then you can put the big one over the top. It's a little bit more ornamental. Really, as a hairdresser, I had absolutely no plans to be a hairdresser whatsoever. I actually wanted to be an orthodontist when I was at school. Uh, I, I loved anything to do with detail. I knew that. And so I just decided that I was going to pick one thing whatever I could and I was going to give it a really good go and try and be the best at it. As I was growing in hairdressing I realised that uh, my interest lied in uh, hair pieces and avant-garde hair and extra hair and I just really really thrived in that area. Worked with some of the top salons in the UK, worked, for, uh, worked with loads of actresses, loads of films, loads of TV, still do that. I now work at Larry King's in South Kensington and Larry has been a friend of mine for 18 years 
And I knew, based there, I could start to explore different areas of hairdressing and expand on it. So we're working together now with Obviously, I've got Rock and Doll. Rock and Doll is not with Larry, but he's fully supportive. And we just released some clipping fringes, which are produced in an ethical factory. And then, you know, we're working more in that direction. So it's really, really exciting for me because this is more what I wanted to do. Our products currently we sell online at rockanddoll.com rock with a k we also retail them at larry king salon in south kensington notting hill and debbie thomas clinic in knightsbridge and then this year we've got a few more retailers and they'll be on there so sign up to our newsletter on our website and we'll keep you up to date with everything going on because we've got some really exciting stuff coming out